Good evening everyone, welcome back to the Midnight Miners channel. In tonight's episode, what I want to do is, I just want to show you guys how um, I got my uh, Asus Prime Z390-P motherboard to run with 11 GPUs. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to um, hook this monitor up to it. And we're gonna boot up the system and we're gonna go into BIOS so you will see exactly what settings I have in BIOS. That way you guys can either screenshot it or do what you need to do to get the same settings and put them into your um, BIOS on your motherboard and get that running with more than four GPUs. I remember the days when I had the same issue I had days where I was up till 2-3 o'clock in the morning trying to figure out how I can use more than 4 GPUs on this motherboard that says you can run 6. Um, so after a bunch of messages back and forth with Asus with their uh, technical support, um, I got it to work with more than 4. Now it, it makes a difference on what operating system you use. So if you're using Hive OS use exactly the settings that I have here same thing goes for Windows but in Windows I believe you will have to increase your virtual memory on that uh, in order for you to run more than four GPUs on that on this motherboard so I'm going to show you that we can count them I think there's 11 GPUs on this motherboard right now so you have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven they're all running, and in case you're wondering, I don't know if you can see it, but it is the Z390-P. I'm sorry about the noise. I just wanted to clarify that and make sure that everybody sees what I have in it. All right, all right, guys, so we are back I'm trying to get into BIOS in this one right now. Let's see if we can. But this way you guys can get in and see exactly what settings I have. Um, I know a lot of you are asking questions about it and I also forgot to ask what operating system you have and what the symptoms are but hopefully this video will clear some of that up and if you guys still have questions please let me know. So we are in BIOS in this one right now. What I'm going to do is I believe it's F7 for advanced mode. I don't have a mouse on this one, which is fun. I might need one. Okay, so and we're on the main. Oh man, let me do this. Okay, so it's better now. Main, we're going to go to advanced. And we're gonna start in here. These are the only ones that I actually messed with. Um, so keep in mind the settings that are in here. Um, they are everything that you see here is disabled other than the PCIe Express clock gating. That is enabled. But everything else is disabled. We're gonna go CPU configuration you can't really change much in that one. So that's this. Then we go to system agent. This is where you're gonna have to do your, uh, oh, sorry about that, 4G decoding. You have to enable that. And I have memory configuration, memory remap that's enabled. Then we have graphics configuration which we put in for the primary display is CPU graphics. That way you don't have to use a GPU for it. Uh, iGPU multi-monitor is disabled. Um, and you can see the other settings. The PEG port configuration. Uh, the PCIe Express. The link speed is set to Gen 1 on mine. Some I, I believe that they should all work on Gen 1. If you have the same motherboard but if not then try different um, ones I think you have gen 2 and 3 but gen 1 works for me so we're gonna stick with that P 
PCH com configuration, you have these settings, and of course in here the PCIe, you can tell the PCIe speed is still Gen 1. Mm. Okay, no, 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 we're not getting out yet, we're not done. And then these are the settings for my SATA uh, ports. So I have SATA controllers enabled. You have SATA mode, aggressive LPM support, smart self-test, SATA 6G1. You have a disabled, disabled, SATA on the two is disabled, three disabled, four disabled, so I have all of them disabled and mainly because I am running HiveOS off of a USB. If I would have had to run it off of a SATA cable, I would have had to have one enabled. Depending on which one I put my cable in, that would have to be enabled. So keep that in mind guys, you have to turn them all off. Uh, PCH, I don't think I did anything in here. So this is disabled. Onboard devices. Another thing that um, I I did this it says hyper uh, hyper M.2 is disabled and HD audio disabled. LED lighting that's uh, for under your uh, motherboard. Uh, Realtek LAN controller disabled. USB power delivery enabled and connectivity mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth enabled. I don't know. I, I, I that's just what I'm running. And in here, that's what we have. Let's get out of here. APM. You can tell what's enabled and what's disabled, which most of them are disabled. PCIe subsystems. We have 4G decoding again enabled. Resize bar support auto. Um, and an USB. You can see the settings. The legacy USB support is enabled. Uh, XHCI handoff is disabled. The USB flash drive PMAP is on auto. And then all everything is enabled in um, that USB single port control. Let's get out of here. Um, network stack disabled NVMe configuration I can't sit I can't change anything in that one anyway so that doesn't matter uh, what else do we have HHD SSD unknown so AMD graphic driver health nothing we can do with that graphic driver health so all this stuff um, I don't understand why I have AMD Graphic Driver Health on um, Intel motherboard. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about them, but that those these are the settings that I have, um, guys. You can you can look through them to make sure that yours are the same. Um, let's see, we're gonna get them everything so you guys can see them. But like I said, the only thing that I had to change in mind was the in a, for the advanced uh, stuff. So on that one, that's what I had to do. Changed all that and everything was working. Um, so that's what we got going on, guys. I am um, I'm here if you guys need me. Let me know if you can fix your issue. Also, if you're having problems, please make sure you tell me what you're using, if you're using HiveOS or what operating system you're using. Because like I said, I used to run it in Windows and with all the virtual memory increase that I had to do myself on it, it wouldn't work, it would not run. So you have to be careful with that. Um, make sure you increase that. Um, so that might be your problem if you're on windows if you're on hive os then you have to make sure that these settings are the way they are in here um so yeah but 
that's everything guys I just wanted to make a real quick one for you guys to see um, what I have and what I'm using that way maybe it, it will help you guys out I know a lot of people are having issues with these so so yeah that's everything for this video right now guys hopefully this one's gonna help somebody out um, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, other than that I will see you on the next one guys take care